Well, Janelle, here's something we haven't been able to say in more than a year. Prices are falling, at least some prices. The latest economic numbers are out, and they indicate at least a few things are getting more affordable, but it might take a while before we actually notice. Let's bring in our business and tech reporter, Scott Budman. Uh, what do we got? Give us some sort of good news here. It is good news, Raj. A lot of prices are down from this time last year, but economists like to talk about the rocket and the feather. When prices go up, they go up like a rocket. <laughs> when they go down, they kind of go down. So like, we're still paying a lot. <laughs> exactly. Good news. They are coming down. But think about how high they were during inflationary times. So it's going to take a while before your personal bottom line changes all that much. According to the Consumer Price Index, it costs less to shop now than it did a year ago. But it still feels high. According to college students Genevieve Larkin and Ryan Lucchese, they'll believe it when they see it on their receipts. Um, I don't think we're quite there yet. Prices are down 24% year over year on eggs, 17% for lettuce, and tomatoes are 7% cheaper. But business professor Robert Chapman Wood says it's understandable that shoppers haven't really noticed yet. After all, a year's worth of inflation set a very high bar. So now everything is notably, not everything, but lots of things are notably higher than they were in 2020, and people still see that. Um, uh, it takes a while for people to note that. Also, not everything is seeing a price drop. Health insurance, televisions, airfare, and furniture are all cheaper year over year, but baked goods like cookies and bread are higher along with your PG&E bill and a trip to Disneyland, all costing you more. The mixed bag means shoppers continue to count the nickels and dimes. Yeah, I'm more like picky of what I would buy because like, oh, say like this one thing is two hours of work where it used to be like, oh, maybe like one hour or so. All right, so some of our groceries are coming down, which is great news. We don't want to undersc uh, underscore that. Uh, big ticket items now are housing, especially here in the Bay Area, and cars, things like that. Let's break down housing first. Good news in the rental market from this time last year. Typical one bedroom in the Bay Area, down $500. Ooh. Housing, not so good. That's but, a different bag of chips. And we know, right, 8% difference between this time last year, 8% higher housing is right now. We still haven't unfrozen that market to put more supply and that's what we need to satiate demand cars as far as cars yeah. a slight drop in the price of a rental car a slight drop in the price of a new car only about one or two percent but that kicked up higher when gas prices kicked up higher now we've seen them both go down okay we're getting there thank you scott you bet Jeanette.